Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a very strange video for me to make because basically um, it's kind of like an apology video, but not for I didn't do anything dramatic. I just fail miserably at releasing videos. Um, so in case you're wondering why have I not had any videos on this channel in a long time, and in case I had one person reach out to me and say, oh my gosh, does this mean that you got a book deal and you can't talk about it, so you don't want to make any videos? Uh, unfortunately, no. There is a very funny story about that though, and that video will be over on my Patreon, but the long story short is, I thought I had a book deal, and then within a couple minutes, I found out I didn't. And so that was a horrifying roller coaster. Um, but anyway, no, nothing exciting like that. Uh, what has been going on is a lot of second guessing myself, really. I've been making a lot of videos, recording them, and then I don't even bother editing them and I just delete them. <laughs> and why is that? Well, one was kind of controversial and I thought, you know what? It's probably for the best if I don't put that out there because it was kind of about the uh, a particular author. And this event happened recently that people were heralding as this really cool, monumentous thing. And I had a wildly different perspective on it, um, not from a jealousy standpoint, but just from uh, groups that this author is associated with that maybe the general populace doesn't know. So I made this big, long 20 minute video detailing why it's not a great deal. <laughs> that this author acquired so much money. I'm giving it away right now, basically, but um, you know, why it's not that cool, actually, that uh, this author um, accumulated this massive amount of money in such a short time because where 10% of that money will be going, and I basically should just release the video right now because I've given it all away. But anyways, the point is I realize it's probably for the best if I just don't stick my foot in my mouth before I'm published no matter what my moral convictions say, um, because my video is not gonna change anything and it certainly didn't change. Uh, a friend of mine is a massive fan of this writer and posted like, oh, isn't it so cool that they got, you know, this, this thing happened. And I was like, actually no, because, and I didn't specify, you know, the group or whatever, um, but you know, a lot of money that this author acquired because of that is now gonna go to, uh, fund not great things and um wow the lighting's changing in here and uh and the friend was like well what groups are you talking about and i like cannot get into that i've got two close associ very close associations of individuals who are formerly associated and then through their extended family extremely actively associated with this so no i can't i can't dive into this that would hurt me on personal uh, association levels. And also it's not a great idea if I, as a up and coming writer, am criticizing somebody monumentally famous in the writing world. So anyways, I'm babbling now. I should just release that video at this point. But anyways, the point is I recorded a big long video about that detailing all these things. And then I just deleted it because I realized that's a terrible idea. And then I tried recording a different version of that same video where I was less specific, but then I still ranted. And I was like, I can't, I cannot release this. So I didn't. And I recorded a couple other videos about various other topics that were just like, I don't think anybody really cares about that, or if they did, uh, I don't know. Um, you might have seen one of my more recent videos was about why the Amazon Lord of the Rings show is probably not going to be as terrible as everybody thinks it's going to be. And basically none of my actual regular viewers commented on it at all, which means that basically none of you care, which is fine. You don't have to care about the things that I care about. But what was very interesting to me is that I got a ton of hate from screen names that I did not recognize who clearly weren't viewers or subscribers of mine. So um, then I realized maybe I should only talk about things that my actual viewers care about. And, uh, but that's hard because um, there's really nothing to talk about right now that is all that exciting. I could tell you about my life, but those kind of videos go over on my Patreon. Um, and there has been nothing happening book-wise worth talking about. Um, I guess what I could tell you about is the sad truth of the fact that Manuscript 1 
is nearing round two's completion, which means um, round you send a manuscript out to like seven-ish editors in round one. And then once they all say no, yeah, sure, you'd love that they'd all said yes, but they don't. And so once they've all said no, then you take their feedback, you retool it, and then the manuscript, you do another revision pass, assuming they've given specific feedback, and then you can send that out to round two's editors. Um, this new version that's improved and that, you know, round one, you can't ever resubmit to round one's editors. Once they've said no, even if you rewrote it from scratch, it's a no. Um, so they would never want to see it ever again. So, um, but you can take their feedback. If they say, ooh, the middle is really slow and boring, then you know what I got to do is rewrite the middle and make it interesting and add new twists or something, you know, something. Um, so that happened. I got some good feedback with Manuscript 1 uh, on round one so that I was able to do a pass uh, that helped strengthen it to send it out on round two. At the same time, though, as I explained to you guys, I sent Manuscript 2 out on its round one at the same time as Manuscript 1 was out on round two. I hope that's not too confusing. And weirdly, the feedback for Manuscript 2 has been vague AF, <laughs> like, it, it, nothing, like, Manuscript 1's uh, feedback was, like, the stakes aren't very exciting or high, it's not a high-stakes story, um, and uh, the, the, there's no tension, there's not enough tension to really pull me in, and I couldn't connect to the voice, and so I was like, okay, well, I will amplify the stakes a little bit, I can condense this one part that will raise things a little bit, I can move this thing here and that will increase the tension, and then I will go ahead and improve the voice. And what the voice is, is like um, how the narrator communicates a an idea to the reader. So if the narrator just says something like, oh, I went outside and it was cold, that's not very interesting voice. Like. This specific character, what about it being cold would affect the specific character? Like, um, you know, would they have accidentally worn a tank top and now their nipples are <laughs> hard from the cold or something like that, you know? So you'd want to change something like it was cold to something that's specific to that character and take out it's cold and then just say like, Oh, on the moment I stepped outside, Nipple City, or, you know, something like that. You know, that amplifies the voice. So I did a voice pass, I increased the tension, blah, 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 blah. Sent Manuscript 1 out on its round 2, at the same time as sending Manuscript 2 out on its round 1. And um, the feedback that we've gotten from Manuscripts 2's, from Manuscript 1's round 2 has been very vague. It has just been... Ah, this was an interesting concept. Didn't quite work for me, though. That's not very helpful, but that's to be expected. And then similarly, with Manuscript 2's round 1, um, it has just been repeatedly either, oh, I really love the concept, such a cool idea, really love the premise, was so excited to read this, but I didn't connect to it. Um, and that's like, but why? Explain so I can fix it, please. I need to fix it so I can send it out to the next seven editors and have better luck. But um, two have said uh, voice stuff. So now I'm uh, currently revising manuscript two for voice. Um, and that is, uh, that, that's harder than something like structural changes or, um, you know, the second act is saggy or something like that, you know. That's easier. I can tighten up a second act, no problem, but like uh, reading every sentence and trying to think like, how can I make this more interesting? You know, how less generic. That's harder. Um, so anyways, that's what I'm doing right now. And there's a whole story about that, but again, that will be in a Patreon video because it's detailed and if you're not into that kind of thing, I'm not gonna force you to hear it. But basically I accidentally thought that I got a book deal and it turns out it was the opposite. It was really my agent saying, so we're just about done with round one on manuscript two. So what do you think we should do here? Because they have not been given any useful feedback. So do we just send it out as is? Or, you know, two did say things about the voice. So do we edit for voice? And so anyway, 
So that's what's going on with my writing. But simultaneous to all of that, I have manuscript three, I guess is how I'm thinking of it as right now. Um, even though it's not the third manuscript I wrote, it's like the seventh manuscript I wrote. That is being beta read by a friend of mine who's a really talented published author. Um, and uh, so I'm very excited to see what her notes are about manuscript three. And then manuscript four, I just recently finished and recently did my first revision pass. And I'm really excited about it because it's kind of different from what I usually write. It's, um, I like to think of it as you're supposed to pitch it as like it's, you know, this known quantity meets this known quantity, like the Princess Bride meets Jane Eyre. No, that's not uh, like Star Wars meets um, Chain Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know what the heck that would be, but that sounds kind of interesting. But anyways, so the way I'm pitching manuscript number four is it is Twilight fell into a love triangle with Percy Jackson and High School Musical. Um, so anyway, I'm happy with it because I think I accidentally pulled it off, which surprises me because I'm not a super huge fan of Twilight. Um, I am a fan of Percy Jackson, and I'm, I don't mind High School Musical, but anyway, I'm pretty excited about that one, and that's being beta read by somebody, and then I had just started um, a really cool one that I'm very excited about, because it's again another complete departure from what I'm used to writing. This video is going on too long. and. Uh, I had just started it. I had just finished all the intricacies. It basically involves, it's kind of like Da Vinci Code meets uh, Inventing Anna or Da Vinci Code meets Tinder Swindler or something like that. Um, so I had just started writing it. I had figured out all it. It involves a lot of puzzles that the main character and this person that they hate, but they have to work together. Um, uh, and then you can imagine maybe what ends up happening between them, even though they start out hating each other. Um, they're trying to solve all these cryptic clues that will lead them to figure out these things. And anyway, I figured out all those puzzles, except two, but I'll figure those out eventually. But anyway, uh, I had just started writing it and I was so excited. And then um, I had this conversation with my agent where it's like, should we try another edit pass at manuscript uh, two before we send it out to the next round? Or what should we do? And I'm like, me. I've, I've got to always give it another shot. So I was like, okay, push and pause on this one I'm really excited about so I can read manuscript number two for the 30,000th time. Um, but anyways, that's basically what's been going on with my writing. And as far as the rest of my life, this is the sitting room in the house. I don't think you guys have ever seen that before. Um, certainly not these blue chairs. Uh, and uh, I'm enjoying the sitting room where I'm doing a lot of my writing and editing and um and work you know i love personal training um but this is less person i don't i won't get into it in this video i'll, I'll get into that into a different video but i'm getting a little burnt out and uh i basically it's now like a 40 hour job and that's just too much work for me i need i value my free time more than i value a fat bank account so as long as i can pay my bills i'm good i don't need and have a little bit of savings. And I, I, I've been good, I have a decent savings. So I gotta figure out a way to convince them to let me cut back on my hours, but that's not a, not a thing with this position. It's literally the hours are the hours and you're just, so I don't know what to do. But today I am taking the day off. When I'm recording this, it's in the middle of the week. It's a Wednesday, which I work Monday through Friday. And uh, more than a week ago, I just, unscheduled myself for Wednesday and submitted the thing and was like, taking Wednesday off. And here I am, taking Wednesday off. So, and I needed it. Um, so anyways, that's what's going on with me. I promise I'll make more videos. I just gotta, I gotta be less self-conscious about um, what things to make videos about, I think. So if you have any topics that you think uh, that I should make a video about, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to smash that bell and hit the, Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.